Hi everyone. Welcome to BCC Art Studio. I'm Billy. Today I'm going to try and do a um, a spring, well not spring, summer project for the upcoming season. I will be using some decals. My husband made some of these decals. And it's going to hopefully turn out into a summer scenery. So sit back. I will play some music for you and enjoy. <music> So there's my paint skin that I'm going to use and I will be back when it dries. <clears throat> I usually roughly give it oh, 24 hours, at least 24 hours. So I will see you when it dries. I'll be back. Okay, so the skin is all dry now. It is. back. Okay. And now I'm going to use decals to trace out some hummingbirds.
Probably not a good color to use because I'm using blue over blue, but we'll see. Oh, I can see it. All right, I'll be back with the piece that's cut. All right, I'm back. It's all cut out. Actually, plan to do two birds, not just one. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. Sparkly. All right, I'll be back with the second bird. All right, so I have both of my birds. Here's the other one. Now it's time to do the canvas. So I'm going to have to let this dry, should go like this I guess, for you folks it would be like that. I'm going to let it dry, 
Actually, I'm going to bring you in for a close-up, then I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours. Okay, so here's the close-up. Now the flowers aren't turning out quite the way I want, but I can get it to work out better when it's dry. I could just use my acrylic pens and draw the lines in the way I want. And we will see you when it's dry. All right, so we are all dry. Now I'm going to use my glitter pens or markers or whatever the heck they're called. They are. <clears throat> oh, let me get you a better one that's not all marked up. So it is a DIY, and then it's in Japanese, I think. It says liner 3D effect. Now these are like glitter pens. Um, they work really well. They, they leave a, a raised edge when you use them. So, I'm going to decide what I want to do here. Grab the pink colors and the yellow. So basically you just squeeze a little bit and it will come out. Ugh, like that. See? Glitter. Okay, so I went ahead <clears throat> and did my flowers. I added a little blue to distinguish them. And I have to let that dry now. So I'll let it dry probably, well, this stuff doesn't take very long to dry. Uh, maybe a couple hours. A couple hours and we will be back. For the next phase. See you in a few. Okay so this is what I have now. I went ahead and I did 
little coloring in there with the glitter pens. Made some leaves and just kind of made some flowers and I don't know if you can see the glitter and stuff in there. Now I know I told you that I'd be ba right back, but it has actually been a couple of days. Things come up and you get busy and I needed it to, it to dry anyway, so. so that's what I have so far. And we'll see what we're going to do next is put the bird on. So I'm thinking that's kind of how I want to put the bird in there. I know my light is kind of giving it glare, but... So I will glue the bird in place. And then I will do the glitter pens around it. And I also have some little butterfly stickers that I'm going to put in here. Um, so before I do this, before I put the bird in there, I'm going to give this a, a varnish coat and then we will be back again. Here it is with the bird all glittered up and now we just need to wait for that to dry. Okay, so here is the dried results, <coughs> excuse me, with the glitter pens and I put the sticker butterflies on there. I know I said I was going to use the two birds, but I just couldn't figure out how to place the other one, so I didn't place it. But I went ahead and I did a little bit of detail to the bird, colored in the beak. And then I put the butterflies in. And now I'm going to give it a resin cover. I haven't decided whether I want to do just a resin on the flowers and the bird or the whole thing. I think I'm going to do the whole cover. I think it'll look better with the whole thing covered with resin. So we will see you when it is dried. Well, here she is. All resinfied. Resinfied. She looks gorgeous. I know I had some little paint details there that I didn't get covered, but that's all right. It's always a first time project for me. So just ideas that come along. Well, what do you think? So, thank you for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend and happy pouring. <laughs>